Good evening, Dipti. Good evening, sir. Uh, how are you? Sir, I'm fine. Okay, so you know the purpose of this meeting, right? So uh, for my viewers, uh, uh, I want to tell uh, something. Uh, Dipti is the PhD aspirant, though Dipti will uh, introduce uh, herself. Uh, but uh, the few things about that Dipti is the PhD aspirant uh, in the psychology domain and she appeared for uh, IIT Jodhpur uh, interview for psychology for PhD. So she will share uh, the uh, she will share her interview experience. OK, so Dipti, uh, first of all, uh, uh, for uh, thank you for uh, being here. So uh, give me a brief introduction about yourself. OK, so, so uh, my name is Deepti Singh and I am from Aligarh, Uttar Pradesh, and I have done my bachelor's and master's in psychology from Aligarh Muslim University. And uh, this year I have qualified a UGC JRF exam uh, and GATE exam in the subject of psychology, both exams in the same subject. And from then I have been aspiring to pursue PhD and my research uh, interest basically revolves around cognitive psychology. Right. So, okay. Uh, so, uh, Dipti, you appeared uh, for IIT Jodhpur uh, interview, but uh, tell my viewers that what was the overall process? Okay, sir. Uh, so, sir, so, uh, basically the overall application process for PhD uh, is divided into two semesters. Like there is right. uh, semester one, uh, which is also called the autumn semester, and there is a semester two, which is also called the spring semester. So, I applied right. for the spring semester. Like unlike other IITs, IIT Jodhpur uh, has already clearly mentioned uh, that the last date for filling the application forms for both semester are fixed like uh, if you want to apply for phd uh, for semester 1 that is autumn semester then the last day uh, last date is 20th april and on the right. other hand uh, if you are applying for the second semester that is the winter session uh, so the last date is 20th october so uh, right. we can apply twice in a year and the dates are already fixed so i applied uh, for the spring semester so um, on term, since the uh, last date was 20th and on 26th October, uh, like all the candidates who were short, like the basic details were asked while filling the application forms, including your marks during 10th, 12th, uh, your academic background or right. like what kind of national exams you have cleared. All these basic details were asked in the application forms and the eligibility crit uh, criteria was uh, like a person, a candidate uh, must have masters in any domain. It can be in any subject and with a minimum 60 percent or six CGPA and the percentage uh, uh, and the for weaker uh, sections and for other uh, students, um, yeah. the percentage, um, the percentage, um, basic percentage uh, that was required was 55 percent or 5.5 PGP. It was different for general and other students. So this was right. the whole application process. Later on around 26th October, uh, we received a mail, although the list was also uploaded on the website and we also received a mail um, which says that your application process is shortlisted. Your application form has been shortlisted and we were asked to uh, upload the SOP which should also include our research plan in IIT Jodhpur. We have to like the document must uh, must contain both the things like our research plan, like what we are aspiring to do there and mm -hmm. our SOP, like which, uh, which should contain our academic background and how it is related to our research plan, how things are connected. So we were asked to right. upload that document uh, within and the time period was about uh, two to three days. We have to uh, we have to send that document uh, uh, on the provided link in the mail within uh, two or three days. And on 31st October, again, uh, I received a mail uh, uh, which was about that based on my SOP, I have been shortlisted for direct interview, uh, which was uh, scheduled to be held on 7th October 
at a department of liberal arts in at iit jodhpur so right. so this was the whole process yes so uh, you have mentioned that uh, sop uh, was one key component for that uh, shortlisting yes, criteria sir. right so yes. another thing is that i want to know from you uh, like did you submit uh, the uh, rp research proposal no sir uh, since like there was a word limit like uh, it should be within 800 to 1000 words so i just right. uh, Uh, prepare a brief sop and as well as research plan i did not right. uh, you know send them the whole research proposal because we were right. not asked to submit the research proposal yes so that, that that's why i'm asking that what was the exact you have mentioned the sop so yes, uh, like uh, did you write uh, with that sop your research plan okay yes so sir. what happened uh, with that so you have uh, uh you had written like a sop something about you or about your research plan so okay, i think there was something yes so so like firstly i mention my like my academic background like right what kind of dissertations and work or internships i have done and my right. area and after that briefly in a very brief manner i mention my research plan including right. uh, two three lines of introduction and methodology was there and all these things were briefly defined in uh, in just four five lines everything and right. in the end i mention a paragraph uh, like w- uh, which shows how my academic background is related and connected with this research plan from where i am getting this idea right so in this okay. way i Oh, nice. great, 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 great. I think this information uh, will help you, uh, like uh, will help my viewers, other students in future. Because IIT Jodhpur uh, asked uh, for the SOP. In that SOP, you have to provide two things. First, your academics, something about your academics. Second, the, your research plan. But other IITs are not following that uh, pattern. Okay, they will. Uh, they are asking actually different SOP and different RP. so that's why uh, i was uh, trying to get that information what happened in iit jodhpur i think your information will help uh, my viewers and the future students who will appear for the interview for iit jodhpur okay thank you and my next uh, uh, like you appear uh, for the interview was it online or offline so it was o- offline right okay so what type of uh, uh, like uh, how was the panel member how many uh, professors uh, were there in your panel uh, panel could you please say something okay so 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 basically there were three panel members in my interview and right. uh, uh, like when i went there when I, like on the interview was scheduled to be held on 7th november and the reporting time was 10 am so uh, right. we went there and uh, we were supposed to uh, sign the admission uh, so uh, sign the attendance sheet and later based on the serial number our name was called uh, called out and right. my name was called out at around 11:30 am so i went in that room where the in, the whole process of interview was happening and three members were there and they firstly right. uh, they asked me to sit and they asked me to feel very comfortable like right. uh, be very uh, like they asked me to sit for 2 minutes right. and to relax and they asked me to relax and after that they asked me are you comfortable now we can begin then i asked them like yes uh, we can begin and firstly the first question was like they asked me to give brief introduction about myself like what right. is your ba- academic bre- uh, background like from where you have done your masters and bachelors all these things so firstly i introduce myself and um, when i told them that i have done my masters and graduation from a central university then the second question was like then why you want to join iits in general the second question was that like if you why why are you not continuing with your parent university why are you leaving that so they asked me about why, what is the main reason and right. then I, actually i go there uh, with the hard copy of my research proposal so okay okay so so they asked me to hand over it to them and they mm. just go through it and mm. the first the, uh, then the third question was about my research interest area like right uh, 
whether you are in, so i told them like i am my interest is more towards cognitive psychology so mm-hmm. then they asked about the title of my research proposal although they have that proposal and they were reading it right. but again they asked me like what you want to do what is your topic so mm-hmm. i told them like my topic is related to emotion regulation and how it is impacting the cognitive flexibility and health risk behavior right then they asked me to define every terminology of my research uh, topic like what right. is emotion regulation uh, what about uh, what do you mean by health risk behavior what is cognitive flexibility right. and they were they uh, further they asked about more detailed questions like what is the theoretical background why you are using these words and right. what is why not these word why only specifically these words and how they are connected like uh, for example i use the term marginalized so they asked me like um, what is the origin of this term is it mentioned in our constitution or not all these things and they also asked me about hypothesis methodology and in methodology uh, they don't ask me about the process like how i will conduct my whole research they were more focusing on why i want to use this specific methodology and not others right, right. like uh, for example uh, um i have mentioned mixed method um, approach and mixed method design so they asked me why you want to use mixed method and not experimental like previous researches were more experimental in nature like my research uh, the previous researches on emotion regulation 90% of them were experimental in nature so they were asking me like why you are not going with experimental research and why mixed method so this was the question and uh, more questions were related to conceptual cl- clarity and the link between the concept like how i am linking emotion regulation with cognition and how it is further related to health risk behavior and more theoretical questions who give this theory and what was this uh, research what is how many researchers are working on this area what is the current finding is there new research happening in this area all these questions were asked and they also asked me about my master's dissertation like whether i have done any research work or dissertation so i told them that yes i have done work uh, dissertation so there are certain questions from my dissertation like uh, what was the methodology and uh, what kind of uh, statistical tool you used there what was the subject you read in masters so all these questions right. were asked right so once again i will uh, tell all the future aspirants that uh, dipti uh, has mentioned so many important things the first thing i will point out that if you are writing your research proposal if you are using any specific uh, uh, theoretical term you should have some sort of understanding about the specific terms because when the professors or panel members will go through your document they will ask you what is this what is that why you are using this type well dipti has clearly explained all these things i think this uh, information will help many student in future so in this way in iits uh, uh, interview generally as a interview hota hai iits mein so itna rigorous interview uh, uh, dipti ne face kiya hai face kiya hai so that's why this uh, uh, session i think will help you in future uh, many student uh, who will appear for the interview once again dipti uh, i will come with another question that is uh, like how was the panel member uh, with you uh, what was their expectation uh, from a student like you so can you uh, can you uh, can you say something because this is something psychological understanding that my future uh, like student and uh, youtube viewers will get some sort of sense okay what is the expectation of the panel member what was the expectation of the panel members from a student from a phd aspirant could you uh, elaborate it sure so so based on my understanding and my experience i think uh, they were not focusing uh, they were not expecting uh, from me that i'll be knowing everything about research like i'll tell them the whole process right. the tools the major right. thing that they were focusing on whether i have conceptual clarity am i just building all these things from my mind and based on my assumptions is there any 
theoretical background or not is there any connection between my topic uh, do i have knowledge about uh, who gave this theory and what was his first work what is happening on the, like what are the other type of work that are happening they were mo majorly focusing on my like how a student is analyzing and how he or she is framing his or her research question like uh, majorly right. the question the question which were asked uh, from me were theoretical in nature like how you are bringing this topic what made you what uh, what inspire you what motivates you to do research on this topic right. and whether i have knowledge regarding different methodology and do i know when i should use this methodology in what con in what condition i should use this and in what other condition i should use this methodology so it was uh, majorly about more clarity about the terms that you are using and is are you really interested in your area like they right. were asking a lot of theoretical question like what cognitive psychology is they also asked me about various uh, various major personality that were that have done work in cognitive psychology their theories also right. so they were mo majorly focusing on this thing that whether you are honest or towards your interest area or not yes this yes. is something Very interesting. that relates there Yes, this is very interesting thing you have mentioned, uh, Diti. That uh, yeah, like, are you really interested about your topic or not? So they are uh, like trying to taste that also. So you can see the number of questions uh, they ask. The three panel members ask a PhD student like Dipti. So it means that they will try uh, to understand what. What is your theoretical knowledge about your uh, research topic? Okay, that you are going to work or you are uh, going to discuss with uh, panel members. This is my topic. I'm going to work with this topic. Okay, so these are the things. So uh, uh, very engaging uh, uh, information you are giving to my viewers, Dikti. Thank you once again. But my last question is that. Um, uh, what you will suggest uh, for the future uh, PhD aspirant who will appear for the IIT's interview? So the most important thing that I will suggest is, I will suggest is prepare your research proposal or uh, whatever you are, uh, it can be any topic, but prepare your research proposal in that area. Just have such my interest in. Like, because if you are interested in cognitive psychology, then you should prepare your research proposal based on that. Suppose uh, you are not interested in, uh, for an example, if you are not interested in organizational psychology and you are just going with the research proposal, like just thoroughly you're just going with that. So the panel members are really very smart. If you tell them that you are interested in organizational, then they will definitely ask you everything, like from where you are connecting all these things. So. Firstly, you should be honest about your interest, like in what thing you are interested in, you should go there. And the second most important thing is you should read your research proposal. You should read all the concepts very thoroughly and very clearly. And you should know the links. Like you cannot connect two concepts just as say based on assumptions. You should know the link because they asked like, is there any study? Like they asked me about like how why are you a con why are you are connecting emotion regulation with cognitive flexibility only not with any other concept so everything so right. this is my only suggestion yes so once again uh, 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 i think uh, this interaction uh, is over uh, here but again uh, uh, thank you dipti for mm -hmm. your information you have shared many interesting uh, useful information uh, uh, with the uh, future student so this information will help many student in future and once again uh, thank you for this uh, thank you, uh, interview thank you sir okay